Hello friends, today we were talking about Robert Oster's uh, Heart of Gold, which is a shimmer ink um, from the Australian manufacturer Robert Oster. Uh, one of the more expensive um, inks uh, at $26, and this is kind of an interesting, um, interesting thing because it's an ink that I think of as black, as you can see, it, it looks pretty dark. And I keep forgetting that it's actually basically a gold ink, metallic. As you can see when I move this page back and forth, it is not, um, you know, I keep using it expecting it to be black and it's not, it's, it's gold. It's got a lot of metallic flake in it. It is in fact one of the best metallic golds that I have. And as an artist, I've used a lot of metallic golds in an attempt to um, add some uh, metallic sparkle to paintings and none of them have been as good at giving you a really good thick gold um, sheen like this Robert Oster ink. So yeah, I, I'm i really impressed by this um, for the price. It's really fantastic. Now the flake is really, l it's really large and very heavy and it settles very quickly. So you have to continually shake this thing if you want to use it. So I did this writing sample, which is already dry, and as you can see, it um, becomes this really beautiful, uh, solid metallic gold um, in terms of the water solubility. As you can see, I would not recommend uh, <laughs> letting it get wet. <coughs> um, it has not well, as much color change as you would expect of what is basically a me metallic gold ink. It is very easy to use. I have no problems with it with anything. Um, it's great with uh, this metallic pen. Um, it also works surprisingly well with um, both of my nibs here. This is the artist nib. You see it, it, it comes on really dark. When the gold flake settles, it looks almost black on the page, but it's not. It's a metallic gold ink. And, you know, here's my, um, this is my calligraphy nib, and it's really good with this too. It doesn't glob, it flows well, and it doesn't um, stop up on anything that I have. I really, I really like this ink. It, it surprises me that I continually don't think of it as a, as a gold accent ink, because that's what it is. now. You can see it's already kind of settled. So the flake is now at the nearer the bottom again. So you do have to keep shaking it. It's not, um, it's not the most user-friendly of inks, but it is beautiful for, uh, for a gold ink. And I do highly recommend it, um, but yeah, don't get it wet. <clears throat> anyway, so this is the Robert Oster Heart of Gold. It really is kind of an, uh, an astonishing metallic, really the easiest to use metallic that I've ever um, ever tried. I should see if they have a silver. Anyway, have you tried um, any good gold metallic inks? Uh, let me know in the comments and uh, and then I'll try to fix this horse because he's actually he looks kind of like an adventurer, doesn't he? He will be the Genghis Khan of horses. <laughs> anyway, let me know in the uh, in the comments if you've used anything similar. And thanks.